Let's write a C program to count prime numbers between user entered range. We will also be using functions to accomplish our task. So let's see the definition of prime number. Prime number is a natural number greater than 1 which has no positive divisors other than 1 and itself. A number 4 for example is divisible by 1, 2 and 4. So the number 4 is also divisible by 2 that's why this is not a prime number. But a number like 7 which is divisible only by 1 and itself. So this number 7 is prime number. But in our program user need to enter a range of number that is start as well as end value. If user enters 1 as start and 10 as end, we copy number from start to end 1 by 1, by one to this number variable and check the copied number that is number present in num is prime or not and if it's prime we display it onto the console window. So prime numbers from 1 to 10 are 2, 3, 5 and 7. There are 4 prime numbers between 1 and 10. So make sure to know the definition properly, write it down once again. Prime number is a natural number greater than 1 which has no positive divisors other than 1 and itself. It should be properly divisible by 1 and itself. No other number should perfectly divide it. Then it's a prime number. If not, it's not a prime number. So let us look at a code snippet. We'll start for loop and assign 2 to count and iterate this for loop until count is less than num less than num not less than or equal to here we are excluding one and the number itself because every number will be divisible by one and itself okay so we exclude one by initializing count by two and iterating this for loop until count is less than num okay so inside for loop we check if that number is perfectly divisible by the value of count in that case if it's true then that's not a prime number because prime numbers should and must be divisible only by one and itself if any other number perfectly divide that number then it's not a prime number so we assign zero to prime that means the selected number is not a prime number so let us write our c program i'll open the code editor i'll take integer variables start and end uh, for the user to enter the range if start value is greater than end value we swap it by using temporary variable and number to copy the numbers from start to end and check if the value present inside num is actually prime or not so slnvo to keep track of the number of prime numbers between the user enter range so i'll ask the user to enter the start and end value and store it inside the address of integer variables start and end so next up let's logically we need to first check if the value present inside start is if it's greater than the value present inside end variable we need to swap the values of start and end we need to make sure the end value is always greater than the start value okay so if start value itself is greater than end value we use temporary variable to swap the values present inside variables start and end so this is simple swapping technique using a temporary variable. So once this if condition is executed, start will always have a number which is less than the value present inside end. So I'll print out a message now that is prime numbers between percentage D and percentage D are which is present inside values a variable start and end. So let me fetch number from one by one from start to end using this for loop. This for loop is to fetch number one by one from start to end. So I'll assign num is equal to start. We need to start from, from the value start and iterate this for loop until num is less than or equal to num and num plus plus for each iteration of this for loop. So inside I'll check if the selected number is one. We need to check for all these things because the count number of prime number count will be varied if we don't take care of these small things if it's one then i'll write continue so what continue does is it skips all the code below the continue and simply passes the control to the next iteration of this loop so for next iteration i'll check if the number selected is prime using is prime method 
is prime returns one or zero one means true zero means false so i am writing it inside if condition itself so if it returns one then i'll print out this message that is percentage d is prime number so now let me define this function is prime so it will return integer type uh, data type so int is prime it takes a integer type argument so i'll take local variable int num so here i'll check if the selected number is actually prime number or not i'll assume the selected number is prime so i'll assign one to prime i'll take a loop counter variable count here i'll write the for loop i'll assign two to count because every number divides perfectly divides is perfectly divisible by one so i'll start with two so count is less than num shouldn't include the number itself so i'm not writing count is less than or equal to num i'm writing count is less than num to exclude the number itself so count is equal to two and count is less than num so here i'll check if the selected number is actually perfectly divisible by any number from two to num minus one if that's true it's not a prime number so i'll assign zero to prime variable and break out of this for loop and return the value present inside prime so what's the value of prime it it will be one or zero okay if it's prime it will have the value one if it's not prime it will have the value zero i'll take another variable i num and assign it num minus num divided by two so i'll iterate this for loop until i num times it works two or else i can write square root of num so this optimizes our code that is reduces the number of iterations of this for loop you can check the logic in uh, in our other video tutorial link to which is present on your computer screen right now since we are using sqrt i have i have included math.h header file here so this is the logic for finding prime number or not okay so let us check the code if there is any error we need to keep checking the code often times so i'll write range as 1 to 10 the prime numbers between 1 and 10 are 2 3 5 and 7 that's great so let me even number these results using slnvo i'll increment the value of slnvo because initial value of slnvo i have provided is 0 so percentage d slnvo so it will start from 1 here according to this logic so I'll give 1 and 10 itself throughout this program. So we have SL on serial numbers. So we have four prime numbers between 1 and 10. Let me even print out that message onto the console window. That is, there are percentage D prime numbers. I'll write it. There are percentage D prime numbers between percentage D and percentage D. That is, between start and end. So SLNVO, which has the actual number of actual count of prime numbers between the range start and end. So let us check once again. I'll give 1 and 10. So prime numbers between 1 and 10 are, so there are four prime numbers between 1 and 10. That's great. So let's do one more thing. I'll ask the user if he wants to print out the prime numbers or not i'll take a variable called on and off because we can't take a variable by name switch because switch is a keyword here so i'll ask the user do you want to print prime numbers mm, he can enter one or zero so i'll hint out something here if s yes, he need to enter one if no he or she need to enter zero okay i'll store it store the user input inside address of variable on off so it's very simple now if he wants if he or she wants to print the prime numbers they need to enter one if not he or she need to enter zero that's it so let's see where we need to check this this is the first place if on off is equal to one so i'll write if on off that means on off equals to one then only print this message so this is another place if on off print this print these prime numbers if not just skip it so that's it i guess let me run this program once again i'll give the range 1 and 10 so i want to print the prime numbers i'll enter 1 
so prime numbers are there are four prime numbers between 1 and 10 so now i'll give input as 0 that is i'll i need a, a count of prime numbers from 1 to 10 so there are four prime numbers between 1 and 10 only that message is printed and prime numbers printing of prime numbers is skipped so you can check the count for prime numbers between any range now okay that's our program using functions okay so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends on your whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you